Hello, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. <sighs> Wasn't planning to do all signs, but that's what my gut is saying to do. So I am currently working on September readings for all signs. So far I've done a handful of them. So you guys can go and check it out to see if I've done your sign already. Uh, for those of you following me on my Patreon account or would like to, click on that upside down triangle below. It's going to bring up the description page here on YouTube. First link will take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. There you can pre-order a bunch of things. I have my two newest magic moon waters, which is moon water that I've charged under the Hawaiian moon, Mahina. Um, I put a little bit of my Reiki energy into that as well as sound charge it. There's some crystals in it, but I have two new ones. My protection sage one is available for pre-order as well as my cloud nine magic moon water, which is just to help us enhance the feeling of calmness and happiness and joy and all of those things. So feel like you're on cloud nine. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Pre-orders for my newest bracelet. I just got the test strand in and it's even more stunning in person. This is Malachite. So my newest bracelets available for pre-orders are Malachite. Malachite is this stone that is super powerful. It's, it's a protection stone. It also helps to open up the heart chakra. It attracts love and wealth and abundance. Um, it is also known as the doula stone because it's to help assist in like childbirth and the birthing kind of um, symptoms and, and sensations and um, cramps and such. But I just find it ironic because we have been channeling the energy of birthing new things. So whether this is literal birth or symbolic birth, it's really going to come in handy. But I've been calling it the heart of Tefiti because if you guys remember from Moana, the heart of Tefiti was green and it had like those swirls in it kind of like lit up green and you see some areas is like really bright green and then there's these like swirls in it and so kind of symbolic of the feminines really opening their heart feminines are falling in love and i think for a lot of us we've really been in this energy of being very guarded and you know we have to be we we're queen of swords you know we were we were at war for a really long time we were healing we were looking our wounds, you know, we were learning self-love. And so a lot of us have sort of put love, romantic love, excuse me, on the back burner. A lot of you guys have learned the process and the, excuse me, learned the art of self-love by going through this process of healing. Now what's happening is we sort of completed that, not fully, because we're never fully quite there yet, but we've completed it enough where our vibration has risen up enough where we sit pretty high up on our on our thrones. And speaking of thrones, you have Arthur and Guinevere. Power in this particular deck, which is the Lover's Path Tarot. Now, as you can see in this deck, the, this is technically the Emperor card, but in this, in this deck, it's called Power. Some of you guys have this choice that will be coming up. Do I want to be with someone because it's what is right on paper? Is it the right person because they're a good provider, because they're kind, because they're all of these things, but there's a but. But there's no magic, there's no chemistry, there's no passion. I don't know about you, but I did not go through all the shit I went through to go and settle just to go and settle for a comfortable life, to be with someone who I know is gonna be a great provider, but I'm not gonna be in love with. We're gonna have money, power, you know, success and all these things, but I want love too. I want love too. I want magic, I want chemistry, I want fireworks too. And at this place of where we're at in, in our life, I think that we kind of earned that to be able to say I want it all because we can give it all. Therefore, it's what I fucking want back in return. So some of you may have this option and choice or are sort of meeting people that you're like, you know what? They're like everything that I would want or that I should want, but there's no chemistry. Listen, don't fucking settle. You can settle. And what you're going to find is in 5, 10, 15 years, maybe 
you're going to look back and kind of regret that. I say wait for the one that makes your heart and soul fucking sing. Wait for the one that calls you in like the sea calls Moana. Arthur loved Guinevere, but Guinevere loved Lancelot. So you may find that there is this energy with you attracting in people that really, really want you, but you don't want them. We've talked about that for a minute, that energy of attracting in a lot of different energy, but none quite tickle your fancy. Five of coins and the prince of coins, which is Perseus. There's this masculine energy here who feels like boy who becomes king. He's the underdog. He's the one that people are counting out or did count out. He may have been at the top of his game, of the pinnacle, and then has fallen. Fallen to grace. I've channeled that for years. Usually we fall from grace, but I've been channeled. Some, someone's people, group of you, fall to grace, which means they fall off of this pedestal, and then reality hits, and then they become fucking humbled. This is someone here who might be the underdog I mean, you can see the energy just putting them side by side. King Arthur is cloaked in, you know, his robe and his jewels and his gold and, you know, kind of sits there. And then here you have this other energy who is sort of, he might also sit on a throne and be, you know, robed with all of these riches and such, but there's a feeling of the underdog counted out. Five of coins here as well, feeling of abandonment somewhere mixed up into all of this shit abandonment someone here feels alone maybe some of you feel like i'm surrounded by a lot of people but i feel alone that's because it's not the right people some of you feel like you don't belong there's strong camelot vibes coming up and it's so crazy because Earlier I was talking about, I think it was on either my live on Instagram or my live on YouTube. I literally was just talking about my Camelot bracelet. About how it's the only bracelet that's disappeared that I can't quite find. I keep one of all of my bracelets. This is not it. I mean, all my bracelets are like this. You guys know if you've purchased every one. Um, and it's my Camelot one that I cannot find. I don't know where it is. It sort of disappeared for a few years now. And so it's a mystery, right, where it went. But crystals do that. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like living entities almost, right? Crystals, they, they have a vibration to them. And so that's what they say. Like when it's when, when your bracelet breaks, or if you purchase a crystal bracelet from me, if they break, it means that it's done its job already. Um, sometimes, I don't know, maybe it, it escapes us for other reasons that we just don't quite know in the moment. But again, talking about the Camelot, it's just crazy how I talked about Camelot. And then you have fucking Arthur and Guinevere. So that energy of medieval, knight, shining armor, governing kingdoms, empires, ruling, all of that energy feels like it's coming up. Could be from a past life. Someone here might be like oddly like super into... Oddly super into that, like a time period, Prince of Staves. It's all like other contenders. See, the problem here is King Arthur better watch the fuck out because he's got competition. It's going to be the one that's bravest enough, the bravest of them all, the most courageous of them all to win her heart. What's funny is... She's going to fall in love with the one that may not be the strongest, the richest, the most handsome. She's going to fall in love with the one that calls to her heart. Her heart is going to crack open. Her heart is restored. Like the heart of Tefiti from Moana. Her heart is restored. Because the right one comes. Holy fuck. You have wisdom. This is the high priestess. So this is an extremely intuitive bitch, super tapped in. She is privy to know a lot of secrets. She's elusive, exclusive, and hella fucking mysterious. People can't figure her out. 
They can't read her. Oh, you got King of Wands, Wotan. So in this deck, it's called the King of Staves. Someone's going to make their move. See, I want to show you that in this deck, the High Priestess, there's actually two people. There's a High Priestess here, and then she has someone here fucking adoring her. So you have definitely captured the attention of many. But who's going to be the one that wins her heart? Right? Who's going to be the one that is the one? The one that, that is, who's the one that she falls in love with is the point. Holy fuck, you have Juliet and Romeo. Romeo and Juliet. Ba -na -na -na. Samson and Delilah. Three of coins. Look at her. She's sad as shit. She's all like, fuck, where's my Romeo? Where is he? You know, Romeo be all, where's my Juliet? Or Romeo and Romeo and Juliet and Juliet, right? Okay, energy is fluid. So however that is going to relate for you, but they're longing for their person, their counterpart. Where are they? I want like this. This is what I fucking want. I want chemistry. I want passion. I want magic. And I want stability. And I want loyalty. And I want someone kind and humble. But I also want that chemistry. I want this love to overcome me. But I also know that I'm strong enough now to be able to not let it take me over and drown me. In the past, we didn't have that that experience right that energy to say like hey in fact come to think of it you know the wisdom card sitting here with the high priestess it's about really your energy you're wise now you know better now you know that looks ain't shit money ain't shit that you choosing just the nice one the nice guy but no magic ain't shit either it's like you now know what you really want and not only what you want but what you actually fucking deserve you deserve to have it all you deserve to have everything why can't you you have here this energy of you being sad as shit here feeling lonely and you have no idea that they are all interested they watch look at this king of pentacles the king of coins in this deck is fucking zeus who wants just a muggle when you can have a god I've always said, you see a motherfucker sit next to me, you know he is godly-like, honey. This is godly-like energy. Looks are deceiving. We've been around the block several times. We know better than to just go for looks, than to just go for money and success. We want it all because we deserve that. And I'm not going to stop or settle until I get it all. Right? Feminine is falling in love. They keep saying it. I've been channeling it for a minute. I've done lives about it that the feminine's heart cracks open. They're working on the feminine. Oh my God, the book. The book is Secrets, Hidden Mystery, The Unknown. Oh. Someone remembers something. Someone here could be having deja vu. There's also some sort of unknown secret thing that you've been trying to get get your hands on. You wanted to know something. They wouldn't allow you to know or see it. Soon it will be revealed. Soon. Temperance, this is Sag. That feels like the underdog though. It says adventuresome, independent. The mountain. With the wisdom, you have wisdom twice. You have the crone and the high priestess. Holy fuck it, screaming the same energy. High priestess energy coming in heavy. That's a double. Wisdom twice. The hidden, mystery, secretive energy here. Elusive, can't read, coming in hot and heavy. And then the high priestess, of course, is, you know, a really tapped in intuitive person. But it also is keeper of secrets. It's like the thing you all, you wanted to know for most of us, right? We've had all of these false partners, false twin flames, false whatever, karmic soulmates, you know. And we've kind of been around the block several times for this. So if you're new here, don't try coming over here and trying to fucking school us. For the motherfucker, we've been around the block. Trust me, we've learned by experience. Um, hit and miss, we've learned by experience. We've learned by, you know, fall, falling in love and like and trauma bonding with the wrong ones. And so we know goddamn well what we're looking for. We know that 
what we most of us wanted was love and what we found is that we fell in love with ourselves and you know that was the start of this being in union with oneself and self-love and everything self-love is the key it's, it's the key to everything um love is the highest vibration and so not romantic love right not falling in love with another person and them loving you back and us going in getting married and having kids love is the highest vibration love of self one love you see what i'm saying so the great mystery though is who's my motherfucker spirit Let me spray some of this I Am Love Magic Moon Water. If you purchased it, you know it smells like roses. Who's my motherfucker, Spirit? Some of you who are finally going to know who it is. You might be catching little glimpses and peaks, but still don't know. The one you were so sure it was, it wasn't it. The child, brand new, new beginning, spontaneous. And you also have the church here, which is marriage, but it's also about tradition, religion, and then the coffin, death. Something here is also, this could also be breakup and an ending. So you see how you have ending and new beginnings with the child and coffin? So one door closes, another open. The end is the beginning, the beginning is the end. So something here ends. Marriage vibes, again, coming in hot, nonstop getting marriage fucking vibes. I mean, it's like a joke. It's like I'm psychic or something. Um, Non-stop marriage vibes, diamond ring. Marriage union, partnership, engagement, proposal, a promise, a vow. You know, it's a past life vow. It's a past life agreement. I will find you again. Full moon, queen, priestess, again. Non-stop priestess energy. And the snowflake. Snowflake talks about being very, very, very unique and different. It's not like anything else. That's how you're going to know. Because this shit ain't like anything else. Oh, it's not like the one that I thought it was and I fell in love with him. And then I thought it was I thought it was love, but it wasn't love. And they were just using me. And then I, 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 I didn't know, blah, blah, blah. It was, it's just going to be everything you thought you knew about love, throw it out the window. I was sharing this on live on YouTube today that I had felt the past couple of days not just super paranoid, super anxious, and having this weird feeling of like dread. I don't know, it came out of nowhere. But I also started to feel this energy of, of my counterpart who is someone who just allows me to be myself and I don't feel so self-conscious around them. I don't feel like, well, because they're so good looking and handsome or successful or whatever, that like they're going to judge me and that, you know, they're gonna cash me in for someone younger and better looking. They're not superficial. This person is someone who's just like me. We've been around the block. We know the superficial things don't matter. That we do know what we want. We want someone that we're in love with and we're attracted to. We deserve that. We deserve to wake up every day and look at somebody and be goo goo gaga. But we also know that it ain't just about looks. We know it's not just about money. We know it's not just about fame and success. But we do want that connection. We want it all. And so this is going to be a super unique connection in which you're going to be like, I just, there's, it's just, I, I know it is because it's just so different. Now, you've been having a lot of energy around you because especially if your light has been really bright lately, meaning you, you glowed up. Whether this is because you finally learned these lessons, your real turn, your vibration raised, you are as within so without so all of this work you've been doing on the inside is showing on the outside and this is why you're gaining all this fucking attention from all these motherfuckers so a lot of people have been attracted to your light and unfortunately that means we attract all walks of life but you have this je ne sais quoi about you there's this sort of like um x factor about you you can even be people that already know you right that are like looking doing double takes at you like yo did you change something like what happened and you're just like nothing and they're like no fuck that something happened so you are now like on display right like the people are looking at you differently official person this is somebody here who has a lot of accolades super successful they may have a lot of awards or achievements right or they're the one in charge this is someone here who has an official sort of title right they're not a rookie this is someone who is very experienced and seasoned okay also there's this feeling of making it official 
it was so funny too because I was feeling earlier on the live on on YouTube that because the feminine is going to be falling in love and cracking open, I felt and it was on purpose for that too. Not everybody's going to relate to that message, so it's not going to be all of the feminines. <clears throat> but for this group that I have been feeling very heavily, the feminine has to crack and fall first because otherwise the masculine would stand no chance, right? Because she softens when she falls. Romeo and Juliet, bum, 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 bum. Samson and Delilah. Look at the lovers. It's like, it's official. It's, it's, it's them. Holy fuck, it's them. Unexpected income. Yes. Uh, money coming in out of the blue. I'm not taking this one. Money coming in out the blue, honey. The gift. The gift could be about a birthday that could symbolize a celebratory time period, the next holiday or someone's birthday. I, you know what's crazy is like we always are like not sh given shit. Like you, we can't know, we can't know, we can't know. Watch when the feminines start to see glimpses of it. Watch when they let us know we're just going to be like. You know the saying is be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. All right, let's roll into this extended. We gotta do an extended, how can we not? If you wish to rent it, click that upside down triangle below. It's gonna be in the special love slash oracle readings of my website, first link there, or saltwaterheelstarot.com. My Patreon link is also below. For those of you that wanna follow me there, I do exclusive videos there you can't watch anywhere else. I do erotic tarot readings. I do bonus ones there. I think I just did one yesterday or the day before as well too. Um, also, on my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com, you may pre-order your gorgeous Heart of Tefiti bracelet. This one hasn't even been stranded yet, strung yet. See, they come like this, and it's usually my mom that does them by hand, but I've been doing them myself. So all the peacock bracelets you guys pre-ordered, all the black onyx ones you guys just pre-ordered, I strung those myself. I did it myself. I, I usually don't anymore. So I'm going to be actually stringing this one for myself today. I always do a test strand. I'm gonna sound charge it, Reiki charge it, sage it, and then I'm gonna wear it. And I just feel like it just came at the exact right time when the feminine's heart's cracking open. It reminds me of like um, the Grinch. And the Grinch's heart grew five times bigger. We're the Grinch. We're falling in love. They're prepping us, we're getting ready. All right, so pre-order the bracelet, my magic moon waters. Um, hopefully these will be mailed out by middle of September. Um, maybe sooner if I can get them done sooner. Um, emergency readings are the only type of sessions I'm doing right now. All others are closed until I catch up. I'm catching up on the three card email spreads, that special that I did, as well as all of the other ones. Trust me, rest assured, if you haven't heard back from me yet, I am going to make my way to you, okay? It's just the list is like, I mean, I can't, my arm is not long enough to show you how long the list is. So be patient. I'm definitely getting there. Um, but anyway, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Let's get into this extended, okay? Love you.